Tang Simnol, Chukbuk Hamnida. It means God bless you. Uh, ang designation ko doon sa Korea as a missionary is uh, missionary for the Filipinos. It means OFW. But uh, when I speak doon sa kanila, uh, to greater number of them, I don't call them overseas Filipino workers kasi parang it is a basing, ano? Na tawagin natin silang ganun. So I call them brothers and I call them friends. I call them Filipinos. I call them Pinoy's. Uh, selda, selda po natin ang tawag sila ng OFW. But uh, OFW, ang alam natin na 25 billion ang ipinapasok nila na mga pera dito sa Pilipinas and yet uh, they have tendency to have a shattered life. Greater percentage of them. And it is a reality. Bakit ganon? Factors would be wala yung akin ko ano. A, a, a video. Is it not working? Ha? Huh? Nandiyan na? Ah, yan na. Uh, family separation. One of the The reason is yung family separation and then you have the financial burdens. Financial burdens mean uh, the person who goes out of the country because uh, you know he, he has to fend for his family or her family. Kamangihan mga nanay, mga babae. Ang pumupunta even in Korea, there are more women than men. I don't know in the church, but probably outside the church, I maraming men. Uh, so they carry the financial burdens that they have. Uh, isa sa mga factors would be the bad work situation we're in. For example, two years ago, uh, ang phone namin nag-ring and it is saying that a woman in faraway place has to leave the, the workplace kasi ang kanyang napuntahan is like a sex den. She was uh, yung yung naging victim naging victim siya ng ng sexual trade uh, trafficking uh, they uh, what do they do is they go to Hong Kong from Philippines they go to Hong Kong and some other places and then go to Korea and then they land in the job wherein they were promised yung mga luxurious na, na jobs but then they go when they they arrive finally doon sa Korea they are uh, situated doon sa mga sexual dens. Uh, yun ang nagiging uh, uh, reason for their shattered life. Uh, of course, nandun yung uncharted life direction. They do not know where to go. They do not know what to do with their life. Uh, kapag nawala ng trabaho, they don't know kung saan sila pupunta. One person, uh, one church member told me Uh, when when he met uh, a woman uh, nighttime to say something done ng Filipinos, ang sabi niya, nagmamakawa itong babaeng ito and saying, please iwi mo na ako kasi wala akong matitirhan sa, sa gabi ito. Na, yun, do, ganun ka desperate ang situation ng mga OFW. You, you talk about Korea. It is more lenient. It is more uh, helpful more kind sa mga OFWs. But when you go out of Korea, South Korea, uh, matindi, mas matindi doon. Hindi po ba? But, uh, eto ang mga reason, uh, nung, nung, nung sinabi sa akin, like, your work will be for the Filipinos, and uh, it has become my designation sa immigration, uh, eto yung tumambad sa akin na problema. And when I went to the church, it is really this was like like 99% ng mga nandoon have uh, tinatawag natin na baggage na dala-dala may baggage sila pati ako rin may baggage ano <laughs> ganun ang nangyari and so I entered this uh, light of life church in 2005 I graduated sa isang university and then my professor the reader of my thesis uh, encouraged me to become a pastor in one of the the group that they were trying to handle. At uh, nang, nang uh, mabuo na yung, yung group na yon, sabi niya, make a name for that group, 
and uh, make a name for that group. And then, uh, sabi niya, kayo nang bahala, you will be independent doon sa, sa, inyong mga, sa inyong work. And so, we become independent since then. So, in, in, yung life of life church. And then, what do we do was, uh, nagkaroon kami ng mga visitations and worship and prayer. Imagine, you're working with people na mostly ay Catholics na maybe only few percent ang nandun na mga galing sa evangelical Christians. So we, did, we do have retreats, fun games, like that, uh, deliver, delivering God's words. Uh, and so, in, 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 uh, to, to make a long story short, yung mga buhay ay na-blessed. And then when we were blessed, the life of the people were blessed, uh, it's time for us to give back to our country. Ngayon, nandito kami, uh, nagkakaroon kami ng reaching out to the families uh, sa mga families na nandun sa lugar ng Korea we reach out namin for example, nagkaroon kami ng uh, family retreat sa Manila uh, from all over the place dito sa, sa Pilipinas pagkatapos uh, in Quezon Province and also in Cagayan we went there para, long, para doon sa family uh, retreat and uh, outreach ng mga kababayan natin na nandun sa Korea. And so, uh, when these families were turning to Christ, church were established. Nagkaroon na tayo ng, nag-establish tayo ng church sa Sinturisan. And then you have uh, tribal missions launched. Uh, this was uh, in 2012. I think this is the second time sa 2012 na ito. Nagkaroon ng basic leaders campaign doon sa uh, tribal areas. Kasi nung namasyal ako doon, nakita ko how destitute where the tribals are. Wala silang church, uh, walang permanent uh, worker, and so we had uh, to, to invite one person to regularly go there para sa tribal ministries. And so we have uh, places like Tinago, and uh, also we had medical missions, Tribal people reached out. Tribal people uh, na, na, natin, na, na uh, reach out natin in different places, uh, preaching God's word, and then leaders were developed. Uh, then we called a full-time uh, ministry for the tribal community. And so, uh, ngayon, ang ginagawa namin, oh, nandito ako partly uh, para i oversee titignan yung pinatawag natin na mission building sa Laguna which we are trying to build up and then uh, yung lastly uh, that's our missionary na ating kinuha and then if you would please uh, move more ayan yung mission perspective mission building perspective sa Laguna Binjan Laguna and then uh, ongoing task natin uh, sige pa po ayan uh, mayroon tayong uh, Light of Life Learning Center, Light of Life Church sa Lampugon. That's the second church yata na, na, ano namin, na uh, established through the Light of Life Church and then the Mission Center sa Philippines, which is also in uh, South Cotabato. Maraming salamat po.